Hey guys, it's the Bubble. So the other day I released a video where my opponent had a level 1 Aeron, and I mentioned that the Aeron was viable and very dangerous. A bunch of people asked me what exactly the Aeron could do, so here I am showing you exactly how dangerous a level 1 Aeron can be. If you're already familiar with the Aeron, click on the box to skip the actual demonstration. I'll give you a second. Alright, so I'm just going to brief you on the Aeron and the teams. Aeron works with Endeavor, Sturdy, Shellbell, and Sandstorm. The opponent hits the Aeron down to 1 HP, then Aeron uses Endeavor, knocking the opponent down to 1 HP as well. Shell Bell heals 1 eighth of the damage dealt to the opponent easily enough to fully heal Aeron. The Sandstorm then deals with the remaining 1 HP. The enemy faints, Aeron comes out completely unscathed, and the process repeats. Now, keep in mind, Fampy can do the exact same thing, but I don't use it because it's susceptible to poison. So the Tyranitar is obviously seminal as it provides a Sandstorm. Fortress is like Aaron's personal bodyguard. It's there to wrap its spin away all of the spikes and stealth rocks that would otherwise end Aaron's sweep before it begins. The other three are there to deal with all of Aaron's other counters, because Aaron has a lot of other counters. Now, onto the game plan. The big threats are those three on top. Donphan and Crocodile are immune to sandstorm damage, so Aaron can't take him out alone. Ninetales can stop the sweep in his tracks by replacing my sandstorm with its son. Since Aaron can take out these three, I don't really have to worry about them, and the convenient thing about a Sandstorm team is that your opponent will tend to send out the Pokemon that resists Sand, making them much easier to take out. Alright, now for the demonstration. Okay, so I'm challenged by Lobos23. I'm going to lead off with Tyranitar to get, the, to get the Sand up. He's going to go in with his Ninetales, and this is the part where Tyranitar's low speed is actually orgasmic, because the order the abilities take effect is determined by the Pokemon's speed. So uh, Drought is going to come in before Sandstorm, so Sandstorm is going to be the one that actually takes effect. So he sends in... Um, he's going to send in his Donphan. I knew he was going to switch, so I, uh, I used Stealth Rock. Um, this is a this is a mixed Tyranitar, so I'm gonna hit him with I'm gonna hit it with an Ice Beam. It's gonna do a disappointing amount of damage. Uh, he's gonna decide to get off my Stealth Rocks immediately, so I will heal I will heal with leftovers, and then I'm I'm gonna switch because I do not want I don't want to get a hit with an Earthquake, because um, that would not be fun on my Tyranitar because I need my Tyranitar to survive so that if he sent once he sends back in his Nine Tails I'll still be able to get out that Sandstorm uh, for. Um, for Aaron. So he sends out Drago the Machamp, and Machamp is one of the ones that Aaron can deal with. So I just decide to I decide to use Protect on this turn with Gliscor, because I was fearing like, I don't know, um, Ice Punch or Dynamic Punch shenanigans, but that did not happen. Uh, so I switch out because my attack's been lowered and I don't want to deal with this um, with this crocodile. But unfortunately, on my switch into Fortress, he's gonna he's gonna go and use Bulk Up, which is not good because Fortress can't really do much uh, to this guy. I figured um, I I use Gyro Ball heal Gyro Ball Gyro Ball here because uh, of his low speed. I figured it would do a lot, but he ended up using Bulk Up twice, so that is not gonna do much damage. So I will call Fortress back. Um, Kabutops I use because of its um because of Priority Aqua Jet. If Aaron gets something down to 1 HP, I can use his Kabutops. But more often than not, I just end up sacrificing it so I can get a free switch in. Um, so I will... I, this this red common is going to be really difficult to deal with, so I just send in Aaron. Time to bring out the big guns. Um, he's going to he's gonna hit me with Earthquake. This is the first time you really get to see the Aaron strategy uh, happen, happen real time. So I'm going to get him down. It's not going to be... I'm not going to be able to take down Crocodile... Um, because it's immune to Sandstorm, but I'll be able to get it down to 1 HP regardless. See, Aeron, I don't really need to take him out, because he can sort of, like, not quite revenge kill, but revenge, get him down to 1 HP, if you know what, I'm, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I see another Earthquake coming, I switch into Gliscor, and uh, that's that's good, because now Gliscor, Gliscor has really high defenses, so despite the two bulk ups, it will be able to tank this like a monster, not even, not even half damage, and take out Crocodile with an Earthquake. So yeah, that happens. And then I get poison heal. Gliscor heals at at a ridiculous rate. Um, okay, so now that now that the now that the crocodile's down, that's that's one down and two to go. So I still have to take down this Donphan and Ninetales, and the deal is pretty much sealed on this game. Um, 
so poison heal, and he's gonna he's gonna hit me with an ice shard. Uh, but again, Donphan doesn't really have that that high attack, and Gliscor has ridiculous defense. So despite the four times um, four times effectiveness, it's not gonna do much damage, and I'll be able to hit him with an earthquake. Uh, so poison heal again. Um, I also, as you saw earlier, I have protect on this Gliscor, so it's going to be pretty easy to to stall out with with this guy. So I'm going to use Swords Dance to to boost my attacks because I'm probably going to have to hit him more than twice to take him down uh, if I don't use Swords Dance. So it's just it's worth it. Um, poison Heal will get me up to almost half. Uh, I will use Protect because I don't want to get I don't want to get knocked out by Ice Shard before I can take out this Dawn Fan. Um, so there there I go, healing again, the purpose of the Protect. So he's going to hit me with an Ice Shard, and I'm going to be able to live this with a comfortable amount of HP. Yeah, 116 left. So I'll hit him with an Earthquake, and that's... I don't like I don't expect this to kill him, because the other one uh, did not did not do enough for that, for that to have killed. But I do... it does a considerable amount of damage because of Swords Dance. Uh, so Protect, so that I can, so that I can once again uh, live with this Gliscor. Just in case, I don't know, he might get a crit or something, that would just totally just put my day in the toilet. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna heal up. He hits me with another Ice Shard, and now his Dawn Fan, his Dawn Fan is going down, because I'm going to hit him, I'm going to hit him with Earthquake, Swords Dance boost, and he just, he does not have enough HP to take that. So that's two down, and one more to go. So he's now just going to go right up, right up ahead with it, and just leave out his Ninetales, Ninetales there, and I'm like... Yeah, newsflash. Um, guess what? My Gliscor is faster than your Ninetales. So that's going to take down his Ninetales without question. And now the battle is pretty much done. All three are down. And it's time for Aaron to reign, to run wild, young, young, wild, and free. So now he's going to decide to use Swords Dance with this Pokemon. I don't, I don't care. I have Aaron right now. I have Aaron going, going crazy in the background. Um, so I just basically I just want this this Gliscor to get taken out, uh, which is good because this this Levini is very capable of taking out my Gliscor, uh, which it will do. So now it's about time I brought in Aaron. Um, so here here we go um, here we go. He gets, he's gonna hit me with an Aerial Ace. I guess he just like really does not want to miss. Um, so here we go, sturdy, and then I'll be able to get him with Endeavor. That'll take me down, take him down to one HP. It is at this moment I realize that I forgot to send in Tyranitar for us. It's still sunny out, so I have to send in Tyranitar. Um, it's actually convenient that this Levenies out here because it can it can take down this Tyranitar in one hit uh, with with Leaf Blade. Um, Tyranitar is at full HP, but it's I, it's done its job, and it's about time for this Tyranitar to go out. So it will it'll do that to uh, to a Swords Dance boosted Leveny, and Leveny will, will faint without the Sandstorm because of its Life Orb. So out comes Dino Spark, the Ampharos, and here is where the strategy actually ta I, like finally will will take effect in full. So sturdy, all right. Endeavor will take him down all the way down. Uh, to 1 HP, and then I get my Shell Bell back up to 12, and then the Sandstorm finishes him off. All right, so that that was it right there, uh, and I'm I get to go in completely completely fine for the next round. He hits me with a Dynamic Punch, uh, that'll get me down to 1 HP. Now Dynamic Punch does have a 100% Confuse rate, but Aaron is a level one, chilling with level 100s. It need it knows that it needs to go hard. Uh, so it will do that. Confusion does not bother Aaron one bit. Uh, down, I'm I'm back. He's at one HP, and Sandstorm will take care of the rest. So that is the match, and that is how you sweep with an Aaron. Uh, so thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check out my opponent's channel. It is in the description. Thanks.